Jason Lee with NextLevelGuitar.com, and I'm back with the Morley Bad Horsey 2 Wawa pedal. Alright, so getting into this pedal, uh, I want to mention it actually is uh, one of my favorite Wawa pedals. Uh, you're definitely going to get a different tone uh, than you would out of, say, like a, a vintage Crybaby or even one of the modern Crybabies. Uh, this one is the particular Bad Horsey 2, which is the newer model. This one's going to give you the volume and the contour control. I believe the one uh, only had the. Uh, the volume control, so the contour definitely helps. Um, the neat thing about this too, compared to a regular Crybaby or another Wawa, is this one actually has the spring-loaded automatic control. So all I have to do is actually start leaning it forward, and it's going to turn on. There's no clicking. So the definite benefit to this is if you want to start in the low position, you can immediately start the pedal in the low position, and it'll turn on automatically. Uh, if you think about how a Crybaby works, you actually have to push it all the way forward uh, to click it on. So you're actually always starting in the high position. Uh, if you're if you're the only guitar player in the band, it's definitely going to be a lot quicker for you. The tone on this one's definitely a little bit more compressed. Uh, it's, it's not as loose and raw and natural like a Crybaby that uses a potentiometer. Uh, this one's, like I said, it's going to be a little bit more compressed. This one actually uses a, a, a optical light that's uh, inside the pedal and that's actually putting the light through the tunnel and actually as you're pushing the, the pedal forward you're actually uh, uh, turning the tunnel that's actually creating the tone. So it's something completely different than anyone else has been doing and Morley's been doing it for uh, quite a long time now. So now we're going to go over the controls of the Bad Horsey 2 Wah. Uh, as you can see right here, this is actually uh, our uh, contour Wah uh, button right here. This is actually just a regular, you know, standard switch that you can turn on and off. And uh, this is actually our contour control that's right here on top. This pretty much can adjust uh, where the range of the Wah is going to be. So uh, if we put if we put it back to say uh, like nine o'clock right here, it's pretty much going to be all lows and then pretty much highs right at the end and we can keep creeping it up so right in the middle would obviously be more of a standard sweep more like lows uh, a little bit of mids and highs coming through the wah wah and then as we keep turning it up we're going to get more treble throughout the whole range of the wah uh, and then our next knob right here uh, that's really cool is actually our level control so the, the one feature that I do like about this wah uh, the most is that it's actually a spring loaded pedal so you can actually just let it go and you can actually see that this is spring loaded and it's really neat for live shows. Um, I used to play with this thing a ton. And what was great about it is I could just walk up to it on stage and then use it and just walk away and it turn off. Uh, one little feature that people don't know is that if you actually do have uh, the audacity to open up the chassis itself, you can actually adjust uh, its time when you turn it on and when it lets go to turn off. So the level control is really cool for solos. That way if you want this to be uh, louder than normal, pretty much anything past five is going to give you uh, a louder volume the minute you turn it on and then the minute you turn it off it's going to come back down to your regular volume again. So it also works well as just a great uh, effects boost while you have the Wawa on. So there's two lights, uh, two LED lights that are actually going to be on this unit right here. The one right below our level control is actually the light that lets you know that your contour is actually on and then the light over on this side right here is actually the light that lets you know the Wawa is on. So when you have it set on standard mode when you let go of it, you're going to watch that light on for a, you know probably maybe a third of a second. It's going to turn right back off when you're done. Uh, same thing when you turn it on. You're going to turn it on. It's going to turn on immediately. And like I said, when you let go, you'll watch that light turn off. And this wall has uh, pretty much standard jack. It's going to be a, a hardened steel jack, which is kind of nice if you're into quality control issues. Uh, hardened steel jacks, just in and out. And then uh, right here, you have a power adapter. Or on the back, you can actually uh, use the battery tray and use a 9-volt. Uh, for this, I would... Uh, Definitely want to use a uh, power supply though because Wawa's can wear out your batteries rather quick. Alright, so I'm going to give you a few examples right now. Uh, I have our contour control off right now, so it's pretty much going to give us the biggest sweep that we can use. And uh, in the middle of my little demo, I'm going to just switch the pickups up a little bit. I've got it on a pretty standard setup right now. Uh, so pretty much I'm going to go through that right now and check it out. <laughs> switch the pickups up real quick so you can hear the difference. I'm going to go to the bridge position so let's check that out. pretty neat. I think it's great for recording. Uh, definitely one of the best ones to use for live use uh, if you're playing music that requires not so much of a vintage tone but something a little bit more uh, 
postmodern. This has been Jason Lee with nextlevelguitar.com. Stay tuned for more videos and make sure to check out the website. And I'm going to play us out.